Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people deal with stress, anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia. However, our information can be helpful for anyone wishing to improve the quality of their life. Today, I want to discuss cognitive behavioral therapy for anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia. Some time ago, researchers comprehensively reviewed literature and concluded that cognitive behavioral therapy, also known as CBT, is the gold standard of treatment for anxiety. Under the CBT model, when you're feeling anxious or experiencing a panic attack, you are experiencing these emotions because of distortions in your thinking called cognitive distortions. A cognitive distortion is an inaccurate thought about reality. However, one by one, you can dissect the distortions in your thinking and then substitute healthier and realistic thoughts in their place. Here are some easy steps you can get started with today. Step 1. Locate your thoughts. For example, you might have experienced a panic attack and the following thought crossed your mind. My heart is beating so fast, I'm going to die. Step 2. Identify the distortions. You can obtain the definitions of cognitive distortions from our website or from another credible source of information on CBT. However, in this video, I will tell you what distortions are present. Jumping to conclusions and disqualifying the positive. To begin, jumping to conclusions refers to making negative predictions even when there is no real evidence to support them. Disqualifying the positive refers to the tendency to forget all of the positive outcomes in your life and to focus only on the negative. Step 3. Substitute healthier thoughts. Now that you have identified the distortions, your next step is to substitute healthier thoughts in their place. For example, here are some healthier thoughts. Your heart has probably beaten quickly many times before and you did not die. Your heart tends to beat quickly whenever you engage in an activity that excites you or when you exercise. As mentioned in another video, many sufferers of panic attacks believe they are having a heart attack when in fact they are experiencing a panic attack. Step 4. Regularly practice CBT. To maximize results, you should try to work on your thoughts each day. Your thoughts don't have to be related to anxiety. They can involve a range of problems you experience in your life. In this video, we have shared one basic example for illustration purposes. You can obtain more examples of CBT being applied to a variety of thoughts and circumstances in our free newsletter. In this continuous newsletter, we cover the five steps to recovery from stress, anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia, and much more. Please visit our website and simply provide your email address. All of our information is free. And remember, anyone can benefit from our material. Please visit our website at panicattackrecovery.com.